You'll face evil, and you will defeat it. Hello, hello, hello. So we are back on Tess, who we're still testing with. And I think what we're going to do is we're going to go ahead and turn this in first, because I feel like I'm getting to a point where some of Nazir's contracts are going to disappear. So I need to make sure whichever ones I do, I go ahead and turn them in. And then when he runs out of contracts, I'll do the breaching security and we'll move forward. So for right now, I'm going to pop in down here. Now, one thing I want to mention, I am going to be doing some little shorts. By the time you see this, you're probably going to see some of them. And I think I'm going to create my own little playlist of just shorts. They're not going to have any bells and whistles, no intro, no outro, no none of that. They're just going to be quick little game cli clips, mainly from Skyrim, though we may end up with some from Fallout 2, or Fallout 4 also, I should say. Ha. Huh. Anyway, so, wow, I can hardly see. Anyway, um... So I'm probably going to create a little playlist and try to just put some out occasionally while I'm playing. You know, because it's easy to record a short little clip off the Xbox. And most of them are going to be like under a minute. Well, actually, most of them will probably be under 30 seconds. And just showing some kills and maybe I'll give them some funny titles and, you know, that kind of thing. Just having a little fun and something you can check out when you feel like it if you want to. And if you don't. You know, no harm, no foul. Actually, I should probably just take that and sell it. This whole place is going to get burned to the ground. So anything you want, at some point, you should just clear out the Dark Brotherhood area here. Because this one is going to be gone anyway. So always feel free to just take anything you want out of here. Because all of this is going to go away. Which is too bad. But it's true. It's all going to go away. Just just read and take everything that you want. I'm not going to stand around and loot it. But I'm just telling you. Because this place... Oh, is that a spoiler? You know, if you're brand new to this game, that might be a spoiler. And I apologize. But don't worry about it. I can't... You know, this game's 11 years old. I can't worry about spoilers for a game this old. It's too much. <laughs> Not that I'm intentionally trying to spoil it. I am not. But, you know, that, that could happen. All right, Agnes is dead, Don't dude. Worry, my friend. I'll spare you the facetious quip about killing a Yes, it's such a shame. I killed a defenseless old woman. Trading an occupied military fort and making it out in one piece is nothing to joke about. Well done. Your payment for services rendered. He talks way too long, doesn't he? Let's see if he's got any more contracts. Well, yes, oh, he's got two. two. Them, but you're reaching the end of what I have available. Oh, good. I want to do all your, your contracts. Are a dark elf wizard named Malaril in the Dwarven ruin. Oh. Left, and Helvard, the house carl of Falkreath. Oh, okay. Kill these two, and I'll have one last contract to give you. I'm just finalizing some details now. See, I want to do all these before we do the other stuff. Okay, tell me He's about Helvard. Jarl of Falkreath. You know what that means? He's the bodyguard to the Jarl himself. So be careful. I know that might be a little, little difficult. We'll see. He's dangerous, very dangerous. A rogue dark elf mage doing research into dwarven artifacts should be both respected and feared. Just not by you. Okay. Don't worry about it then. Let's see, who should we get first? Should we do the house Carl first? Well, they gave me this one first. Okay, I, that's, you know what? I'm okay with that. Let's roll with it. Bum -ba -dum -ba -dum. Now that guy does not like us. No matter what we do, he never seems to like us. I think he ends up helping us or liking us better in the future. For a minute, I thought she was gone. Now, if you ever want to make a follower of Astrid, if you're using 
the cheat room spell, you can clone her and make a follow of her, follower of her. Do it early in the game, early in the Dark Brotherhood stuff. Don't wait until towards the end. I don't want to spoil it, but I'm just telling you, don't wait. She makes a good follower, and she looks good. Everybody's version of her, for the most part, looks pretty good. So, even the vanilla version of her does not look bad. I mean, it's vanilla, but still. All right, now I am having some coffee, so you'll have to bear with me. And it is really dark out here. Wow, okay. So, the wizard... The wizard. Hey, why have I got that there? What's that? Forgotten Cave. I guess I must have wandered close enough to get on my map, but I haven't been there. Oh, maybe. No, you know what? I have a quest for that. That's right. I have a quest for it, and I haven't gone there. Okay, I'm missing... I'm missing my marker. How am I missing my marker? Wait, I see it now. Okay, okay, yeah. Okay, so... I find it hard to say that name, so we're going to call it Zinc Left. Zinc Left, okay? I should just call it Zinc. We'll just call it Zinc. That's easier. I am fast traveling a lot, but I did a lot of testing and running around earlier. So I'm fast traveling around to try to do the quest and do as much adventuring as possible. So that um, we can play test as much of the quests and things as possible. Oh, well, okay, that was unexpected. I don't want them. I, I'm going to. I'm going to sneak in and kill them. I don't want them to like. That was too much, wasn't it? That was too much. Yes, have a seat. No one's here. Oh, oh, I've stirred up the hornet's nest. Look at that. But my dude is in there, so I have to go get him. This might take a few minutes. This might be an adventure all of its own. Oh, wait, they gave up. Okay, they gave up. That's good. That's good for us. That means I can continue to pick them off one at a time. That's easier. Considering the difficulty mod I have and the different things like that. And the good thing about the Genesis mods is that it will it will help these uh, guys restock sooner, usually. Not always, but usually they will respawn sooner. Well, okay. That was unexpected, I guess. Oh, I missed. Oh, okay. Hold on. Ouch. <laughs> I'm trying to get situated now. I'm going to have to really fight. I was hoping not to get into this kind of fight, but oh well. You won't live to see tomorrow. Oh, there we go. Give her what for? Oh, that was it. We just had those two. Good, good, good. Oh, if we needed a little nap, we could take it right here.
All right. I know there's a few more guys out here. I don't remember how many or where. Actually, maybe I'm wrong. Maybe there aren't any more. Maybe that's all there was. For some reason, I thought there were more. But there's nobody there. I don't see anybody up top. Let's just sneak up there and make sure it's clear. Okay. Seems okay. I'm not ashamed to take all this stuff. I can sell it. And she can carry it. I've made sure she can carry it, so she'll be fine. I don't know if I should go over to the other side or not, honestly. Nobody down there. I forget where this wizard is. Is he way down at the bottom of this place? Oh, we have a chest. It was worth coming up here then. I can break some lockpicks. Just what we need. I always try like the four corners first. I'll see a lot of times it pays off. Oh, well that wasn't a good move. Let's go a little farther. Oh, a little more. There we go. Ta-da! It's an empty barrel. And this one has flour, which I'm not taking. Okay. Fine. Well, I don't have to... I could just hop down. I don't really have to worry about fall damage. I gave her the ring that eliminates fall damage from the cheat room. That way I don't have to worry about it. I don't usually try to give myself fall damage, though. I usually try to avoid that type of thing. But nonetheless, okay, let's do a real save here before we go in. Then after this, we'll try to just do quick saves. Anyway, so like I was saying before, I got all distracted. Was that I'm going to do a bunch of shorts, and I'm going to, I think I'm going to make their own little playlist for them, and it'll probably be at the, the bottom of my home page on YouTube. I'll probably call it my shorts because I'm not using my phone, and I don't know if YouTube will honor my shorts if I don't use my phone if I try to call it hashtag shorts like they do. I don't think they will honor that because they expect you to use their app on your phone to make shorts and that's just not me that's not what I'm doing I thought that spider might be alive for a minute but it's not is there anything in there? no Hmm. It's not been too long since I did this dungeon, I didn't think. Hmm, still I don't remember all these these spheres with my uh, current mods and stuff. They're pretty rough. They can kill her pretty quick. Uh oh. The shot. <laughs> I'm not ashamed of that either. Oh, she didn't even realize it. Oh, she moved. Oh, that was a teleport. Did you see that? That was horrible. But we got her. I hate it when they go nightcrawler on me and they, they go bamf and they move and then I'm like, oh no, where did they go? 
I don't usually see that. That was unusual. But that's uh, that's Skyrim for you occasionally, and it, it happens in the vanilla game too. Occasionally, somebody just moves unexpectedly like that. Anything interesting? Not really. There's a potion. I don't really care. Oh, a chest though. Hey. Don't be walking off without your chest. Woo. What are they collecting in there? Potatoes, taproot, okay. Well, that's their business. I'm after that wizard. He's in here somewhere. Oh! I didn't see her, that was funny. Obviously she did not see me. Now I'll tell you, my girl is muffled. And her sneak, what is her sneak skill? It is not, it's 47. I have not uh, given her any special thing, I mean... Um, I've not, what do you call it? I've not fortified her sneak at all. I just, I did give her muffle though. So. And I don't use invisibility potions. And I tried, I wanted to use that cloak of invisibility, but it doesn't really seem to work well. Who's around here? Oh. Okay, if we can get the headshot, we won't have to worry about them. Oh! That was not good. Look at that, a dead miss. With her right in front of me. Wow. Oh. Okay. I'm pretty resistant to a lot of magic, though. I did make her pretty resistant to that. Because she takes... She usually dies from physical damage, not magic damage. You'll see that too in some of the shorts. If she dies, it's because somebody has grabbed her and like pounded her head in or something. Oh, they're trying to cook a big pot, ain't they? Alright. Okay, so it looks like he's over there, not far from here. If I can stay out of trouble long enough, let me do a quick save in case I do something stupid. Wouldn't be the first time. Oh! Wow, I about didn't see her. She's just calmly hanging out. Anybody else like that around here? Mm. Okay, I don't need to go that way, so I'm not planning on going that way. I might change my mind after we get this wizard, though, because sometimes it's tempting to just go through the dungeon and, you know, see what we can find. Skyrim's big enough and I've not done all these so many times that that I just automatically know everything. Is he on the other side? He's on the other side of this wall. Okay. Let's see if we can sneak up on him. Oh, I think so. Look at there. Whatever that was, just blipped up in the air. That was funny. I'm using a different texture for robes and clothing, so you might notice people have a different appearance of their clothing and things. It's not a huge replacer, though. It's really just... Uh, it's a smallish one, really. I don't think I need the... 
I probably don't need all that anyway, but we'll take it for now. Dance in fire. A dance in fire. It always makes me think of the dwarves. Anyway. You know, I got a war horn replacer, but it does not affect these. I was hoping it would affect these, and it doesn't. So I might drop that mod. It doesn't affect these mod, these horns, which is disappointing. I thought all of these would look cool like that, but oh well. All right, so let's go explore the rest of this dungeon. I know we finished our quest. But I know that there's some farmer and probably some robots that need to be killed. And it'll give them a chance to kill us. I can't guarantee it'll be great fun, but it'll be fun. Fun enough. Let's do a real save here in case I run into a situation that's so bad I change my mind. <laughs> it could happen. Oh, are there more robot? Wait. Are the bandits in here dead? Yes. Oh, I see. Mr. Sphere is waiting. Oh, no, there's more than one. This is not good. 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 I'll take that every time. I get killed. You'll see a little short of her. She gets like demolished in like one or two hits by one of these guys. It's pretty funny. Yeah, all the bandits in here are dead. Okay. Well, I was going to kill him, so I guess it's okay. I don't see any more robots. And yeah, you can call them whatever you want. I still think of them as basically steam robots or steampunk robots, however you want to think of it, you know. Oh, it's empty. I guess the uh, bandits cleared that out before I got here. Hmm. All right. Let's see what we have to look forward to. I'll do a quick save and we'll keep moving. There's a spider. Oh, he's down. Good. I get more damage on my arrow shots now. That, that'll that probably help me survive these encounters. I just wanted to play somebody sneaky, and I decided to play her because she could wear this this cool outfit that I have her wearing. I thought that would be fun. There's another roguey style outfit I want her to play in later. But right now, we're using this outfit. I'm looking around. I, I was going to say, I'm expecting more. And I was right to expect more. Isn't that a dynamo? No, it's a gyro. I guess I was just thinking it was one of those other things that's worth more money. Now the lighting effect in here is different. I, I will have to show you the mod for that. 
I probably need to go ahead and do a mod show because this this game and these mods are working. I mean, I might find a couple of little flaws, but uh, I've not had any issues. I've fast traveled all over the place. I've walked around a lot of places. Oh, hello. Good. I can kill those guys faster now. That helps a lot. That last dungeon, those guys were murderizing me. They might pop a surprise out on me still. And I like to play the sneaky assassin style person anyway. Oh. Missed him. I will take that. One thing that I do sometimes when it's convenient like this is I walk on the pipe and try to look around to see how much trouble I'm going to have. It doesn't always work exactly the way I wish it did, but, but in general it allows you to get a kind of a sneak peek of things. I think this room is going to be okay now that I killed him. Oh, is this a puzzle room? Okay, I seem to remember this. I'm going to do a quick save here. Alright, so that opens up this. There's a trick to these levers. You'll have to pardon me. It takes a minute to, I think, to figure these out. And I could probably jump over them and shortcut this, but I think the idea is to use the levers as much as you can to get out. Did I miss a chest? No, that's a lever. That's not a chest. Okay. Okay, I need another lever, don't I? Which lever is it that I need? Hmm. Okay, throw this one for a minute. Let me come back around. Oh, it's that one in there. Okay, hold on. Or is that a valve? That might be a valve. Yeah, that's a valve. Okay, anyway. Let's get into this. Ooh, well. The master chests are the worst. They are the hardest, I think. I don't think there's any worse than that. But I always have lots of lock picks, so. That was one of those things in the original vanilla game, I always made my character buy and find all the lock picks they could as soon as possible. For this very reason. Well, that did not work out the way I wanted it to. No. 
Now, I might be going too fast. But I'm going to do this anyway. Because with the master, you can really, you can miss it very easy. With just minor movements, you can miss the the spot that you're looking for. Uh, Oh, okay, so we're close. Let's pull it in. Let's get it about there. No, that's not good enough. That was a thought. It was the wrong thought, but it was a thought. Let's go just a little bit farther. Oh, that's still... Either that was not enough or that was too much. I'm not sure. There we go. It was not enough. That's the answer. Oh, I missed my valve. There we go. Once you get to the valve, it opens all the doodads. Okay, that's good. Great. Okay. Oh, do we want to go down? Is this flak reach or what is this? No, this is the depths. Zinc. Zinc lift depths. Okay, that's just going to be hard for me to say. We'll call it zinc. All right. Hmm. Well, you know, we're here. There's no time like the present. <laughs> I'm not going to get a better time, so it's like, okay, let's just go for it. Oh, there's dead things here. This is not good. Well, if I don't like it, if it's one of those really big places I don't like, I can always leave. I don't have to stay. Oh, hello. Did that just know we got him? I was going to say, did that just miss? This dot is no, not the most reliable. I sometimes think I should get uh, Arendelle's uh, third person aiming. I think it's better than this. Not that this doesn't work, I mean, but sometimes it misses. I'm shooting his knee. Oh, it worked! It worked! He took an arrow to the knee and died. There we go. I'm, I'm satisfied with that. Oh, this place takes a while to explore, I think. Let's look around. Oh, is there somebody in there? No, I don't think so. Hmm. I don't remember what this place is about. I seem to remember there is a quest for it. I don't have that quest, of course, right now. No, I don't want your skull. You can keep your skull. Alright. Oh, there's not a guy there, but look what I see. There is a booger. It's one of those chorus things, I think. Yep. Oh, missed.
Gotcha. My leading shots like that are not always that good, but I've had a couple of good ones today and I'll take it. I don't see any more of the bugs. I do hate the bugs, I know. Yes, I'm replying to myself when I say I know. I hate the bugs, yeah, I know. I do that when I'm playing though. I will talk to myself, something fierce. All right. I'm looking around in case there's some farmer hanging out waiting to get me, but I don't see them. I, I know that they can come out of those tunnels, but I don't see anybody over there on those steps. I was kind of looking for somebody, but I don't see anybody. Not yet, anyway. That's a treasure chest. I guess you can run and jump to that. My problem is she jumps really high. Let's do a quick save in case this doesn't work. Ha ha ha. She did it. Good job, good job. Sometimes that doesn't work. If there's a ceiling or something, she'll bump into it and then she'll fall right away down below. So I have to try to maneuver it just so. Now I think there's some farmer or bugs over there, but I'm not seeing anybody. But they could be, you know, could be they haven't come out of their tunnels yet. Could be when I get close, they'll flop out. Oh, there's somebody. There might be some underwater stuff to do here, but I honestly don't remember it. It could be that there is a uh, valve or something to do. I gave her the underwater swimming or breathing buff so she doesn't have to worry about drowning. For me, it's more like I have to remember what we need to do if we need to do anything. Well, I don't see anything that she needs to do. I thought there might be a switch or a lever. Well, there is a gate. Let's see what this is. Now with underwater breathing, you don't really have to worry about this so much. But if I didn't have underwater breathing, I may not be able to explore all this quite as lackadaisically as I am. Okay, well, I didn't see any switches though. So, we're going to move on.
we'll look up there and see what's up there. Yep, there are some guys. I thought there were. I don't have to kill everybody, but sometimes it's more fun that way. Oh, oh, that's because he was paralyzed. That's what happens sometimes, because they were going to get up, but then I killed them before the paralysis wore off, and sometimes that's what happens. He's, like, sliding to me. I don't even think that was walking. You can still loot them, even though they're moving like that. Which is kind of weird. If I don't use the paralysis, it that doesn't happen. But but I like using the paralyze. I think it's fun. Oh, we'll take your bow. Why not? Okay, let's see where else there is to go. Probably, this probably leads down to Black Reach, like most of them do. You see those guys? One's here, and one's right right up there. That's funny. I missed. Now he was coming to get me. That was pretty good. He was like, yes, I'm coming. He was not sliding or gliding. He was like, nope, I'm waddling over here. I'm going to hit you. I don't remember this room. And it looks like a dead end. Is it a dead end? I think I've missed something because I don't think this is a dead end. Oh, it looks like there's a way to go back there. Okay. That's another gyro. Okay. All right. So we're going to run back here. Hmm, I don't remember this place. Oh. Don't like the casters. those eggs that kind of means trouble doesn't it yep look right there it's shooting the ground come on I'm going to have to get that third person archery mod that gives me a better aim because that's just terrible I shouldn't be shooting the ground all the time like that. Look at that. I was aiming way up there. There. That'll take him out. All right. I guess that's the only thing. If you're going to do third-person archery with this inner face mod, this HUD that I'm using, you probably need to pick up Arendelle's mod. And I'll 
you know what, I think I'll go get that and come back in here and I will give you a little preview of things because I think that will be that will be well worth doing, okay? I've lost track of what time it is anyway and how long we've been playing because I like to take my time going through these things. I don't like to be in a rush. Yep. All right. So tell you what, I'm going to go get that because I think it will help my aim. So uh, it's um, something like proper aiming. I will go find it and we'll come back, okay? Um, let me just do a... Actually, let me just do a save here. That's right. We're already in the game. I'm not leaving the game. So let me just... Quit out of here. And we'll go into the mods and I'll show you the mod that I'm talking about. Yeah, this won't be that hard to do. And then I am going to have to stop this session because it's getting a little long. And if I make my sessions too long, it's all YouTube can do to keep up with uh, processing these these files it's it's ridiculous but i would think with all their power they could do better but whatever it takes them days and days to uh process these 4k videos which is too bad I, i'm glad that you at least get to see them in 4k at some point but if i don't put it out well ahead of time then the 4k isn't properly rendered which is a waste And again, I mean, I'm just going to say, I know I'm just a small channel and I'm sure the bigger channels like that have millions of subscribers and stuff, I'm sure that they get a bigger chunk of that processing power and it makes sense. I, I'm not putting that down. All right. Pardon me. I was having coffee again. So, so let's see if I can find this. I think it's proper aiming. I might be wrong, but I think it's something like that. Proper aim. We'll see. It's an older mod and it has, it has, you see that uh, archery uh, target up there? It has that. Uh, yeah, and it goes, it actually kind of goes with dynamic camera. Oh, there it is. Wait, proper aiming. Hey, I remember drawing by Arendelle. This is a good little one. It helps with your crosshair aiming with bows or spells, and it's especially good for third person. So, now, you notice the issues, flame sparks, those don't work as well. But this will be great. All right. Now it's going to be low. I'll show you something else too. I'm using 138. Look above that. 138 of 150. So I'm using a lot of mods. Now in this case, for this little tiny mod, for what it does, I don't know if I need to do a reset or not. But i tell you what I'm going to do. I'm going to get out and do a reset. Even though this is a little tiny mod, it's not very big. But that should help adjust our aiming. I really hope it does. And if it doesn't, I'm going to be disappointed. <laughs> but I don't use dynamic camera because I, I like the uh, third person find the way it is. And uh, so, but I do like this proper aiming. And if you do use dynamic camera, Arendelle recommends you use this. But I, I don't use dynamic camera. I have a free camera that I use to get the pictures I want. And then I have uh, just the normal vanilla stuff like for third person. Anyway, I am going to have to go. I've got to do a restart since I'm adding this into our load order. And I um, want to thank you for watching. We'll have to continue this dungeon later. But thanks for watching. Hope you have a wonderful day. And I will catch you later.
Vault Tech College, where you can come to school and get a degree and learn how to kill everyone with nuclear radiation. You'll love it. You'll enjoy it. It'll be a great thing. The world will be a happier, safer place without all these humans anyway. Come to Vault Tech College. This has been an How That Smarts production.